Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel and welcome to your bonus reading. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Gemini need to hear today. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. I've got the Queen of Wands here in reverse at the bottom of the deck. For those Gemini, if you've been left out in the cool of Five Pentacles here in the past, and the uh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, somebody who doesn't value you, um, the Ace of Cups in reverse also can indicate rejection. Perhaps this person has rejected you or you may have rejected this person. And the Seven of Wands here in reverse indicates someone giving up on this connection, right? So um, if that's the case, I feel like Gemini, for a lot of you with the star here, you could be going through healing and recovery. And if this is what's going on right now, I definitely see a full recovery, okay, for a lot of you because something good is going to happen and for some of you maybe it's because you've been taking really good care of yourself right your well-being that's what you've been doing i definitely see the sun here again something positive is coming your way when it comes to love this person could be a leo strong leo energy because we've got the sun and then we've got the strength or any fire signs all right aries sagittarius leo or could be an aquarius Again, it can be any sign. And also, now that goes in reverse, can indicate for some of you, if you've been single, you're not going to be single for too long. The star indicates your wishes are coming true, but you just have to be very patient with the strength card here. Either being really patient or needing to tread very carefully, deal with whoever that's coming your way or somebody you may be dealing with currently very very tactfully i definitely see a really good outcome for a lot of you gemini when it comes to love see from the five of pentacles feeling sad feeling left out in the cold to suddenly <laughs> with the sun here it's like wow so happy right um and it's such a positive card and the strength here and the ace of wands indicates a new beginning again some of you this person um feels like a love at first sight or attraction like right away there's this attraction between you and this person because um, that's very instant because the the sun as you can see the eyes it's like the moment you see this person or the moment this person sees you or both of you look at each other <laughs> you're gonna feel like there's this spark between two of you ace of wands uh, crazy attracted to each other and the strength card here also can indicate that perhaps the initial attraction is definitely there but the strength card could also indicate both of you are just trying to play it cool yeah um, again, some of you, maybe this person is already in your life. Some of you, if you don't have anybody right now, maybe this person is coming in, okay? I, I feel like, you know, because the strength here feels a bit like, okay, I need to control myself or I need to contain myself. I know I'm wildly attracted to this person, but I, I feel like it could be both of you or one of you is going to, like, try and play it cool, right? Uh, but the attraction is undeniable for sure, Gemini. Another fire I'm seeing here, which is the King of Wands, and could also be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Yeah, I definitely see someone did not value you in the past, and you may have let go already. Fast forward to your love first, and I don't want to love first. If you let go of this person, perhaps either they were immature or that they couldn't uh, give you what you want, couldn't commit, or that maybe there was some communication issues okay for some of you but i feel like the fool here in reverse some of you could be feeling like foolish for giving this person uh for even spending time with this person or investing in this person i sense a lot of you just don't want to take the risk anymore um just calling it a loss and then 
you know, move forward. That's what I'm getting here for a lot of you, Gemini. And because of that, I feel like with the Nine of Cups, maybe this person is going to want to come in and tell you or express to you how much they love you. But it may not always mean that because the Nine of Cups also can indicate maybe this this is that new person coming in, okay? This new person could be somebody very romantic. Also, at the same time, uh, genuine, I would say. Could be foolish in love because <laughs> the fool is beneath the knight of cups here in an upright position uh, there's somebody who is going to fall in love with you or gonna get really head over heels for you or you them okay i definitely see you letting go of somebody if you do that gemini i see this because you let go of somebody in the past whether it could be you know an actual separation or energetically you know, cutting this person off, uh, something new and something better is coming in for a lot of you, Gemini. I see this person, again, very, very attractive, right? Very, very attractive. Could be also quite charming. Maybe they have dimples or just something about their smile because the sun here, like, it's happy, so it's smiling. And could also be in really good shape, okay, Gemini? This person is in good shape, dresses well, um, has a great smile, um, nice teeth. That's what I'm getting here. Nice hair, too. <laughs> some of that, some of them, their, their hair could be a little bit long or a men bun. Or if it's not that, this has got really nice hair color. Um... Or nice hairstyle in general, okay, Gemini. I'm gonna pull out a few of these oracles here in Gemini. True love, and this person could be your true true love. It could turn into more from attraction to basically falling in love so we got the pay attention to the red flags love yourself first for those of you again if you're single gemini and one second gemini <coughs> sorry about that so um the pay attention to the red flags i feel like Spirit's trying to encourage you to look back, learn from your past experiences, people, time wasters, you know, time wasters. Um, if you recognize something like that, okay, especially if you have options, um, just use that as part of your lessons, right? We all, we all can learn something new. So through these past experiences, perhaps you know better how to choose Especially people who waste your time and people who don't value you, okay? And love yourself first. It's more like, um, see, with the Korean energy, the star here for a lot of you. If you love yourself first, you take care of yourself, your well-being. Uh, and make sure that, again, that you choose accordingly, okay? Feels like there is someone. Whom could be someone that you are going to be connecting with? Gemini, some of you could be connected already to this person. And you know the strength card here again, it's like if you play the game well. I'm not saying it's like a game game, but uh, if you just don't, how do you say, don't rush into things because the strength can indicate patience as well. Some of you, for yourself, why? Exactly, it's like if you were to let go of someone from your past, free yourself from this person energetically you find your true love, okay? And we've got honeymoon. Some of you could be meeting this person while you are traveling. Um, soulmate, this is going to be a soulmate connection. Definitely a soulmate connection coming in for a lot of you. Gemini, I'm going to pull out a few of these oracles. Yeah. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So, see, there could be someone uh, for some of you, there could be someone in your energy field right now that uh, this person may be, again, very attractive to you, but they are holding back, right? Because the strength card here can indicate maybe this person has a little bit of an ego or that and they're just being extra careful before they uh, express to you how they feel, okay? Let's see more. 
This to me looks like a temperance balance, healing recovery as well. The past is now behind you. See, I keep getting this message for a lot of you, Gemini. You're putting the past behind you. And if you're not, Spirit said, definitely is encouraging you to push, to put your past behind you, okay? Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith, yep. Yeah? Have faith that everything is going to be okay and that you're going to be meeting somebody new. Uh, there's new connection. Again, this could be your soulmate, true love. And a very positive union with the again, this this uh, sun here, all right? Gemini, this is your reading. I uh, hope uh, your love reading. Hope you resonated. Hope, hope it has helped you in some way, shape, or form. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.